Hey Guardians, it's Delta. I was trying to find a remote defense build to defend my team when they were farther away, but I found more utility out of a throwable barricade than I thought. Today we're playing with a combo with the new exotic from the season, Arbor Warden, and an old exotic Glaive from Witch Queen, Edge of Action. These two together will help us defend our teams in ways Destiny has never seen before. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First up is Edge of Action, which we'll use to throw a miniature Ward of Dawns that grant us and our allies overshields if we charge up our shield beater. Holding down reload will put our shield charge in our next shot, firing a small void yellow looking bubble. To maximize the effectiveness of our glaive, we're going to be using two times Lucent Blade. That way it only takes three shots to acquire our shield instead of five shots. There's also a neat trick with glaives that holding down block while swinging will increase your attack speed. This should help out a bit. We're also using a Void Holster mod to reload our glaive while we use other weapons. The background reload is super helpful. And don't be afraid of losing energy by blocking with the glaive. With the super high shield duration that the Edge of Action has, you'll be able to block quite a bit and only need one shot from the glaive to bring you back up to full energy. The only reason we're using two Lucent Blade mods instead of three is because the charge you get from three isn't going to decrease the amount of shots that we need to trigger our throwable bubble. Now to Arbor Warden. Activating your class ability will stuff your barricade into a grenade. Couple things to note. Throwing the barricade doesn't activate your class ability, but stuffing it into a grenade does count, which is actually one of the biggest benefits of this exotic. This will let you pick up orbs of power with the powerful attraction mod mid-combat without wasting a barricade in the middle of nowhere. You can also activate Dynamo, which will give you back super energy when you're near targets. And lastly, Reaper, which we can use to make an orb upon kill after activating our class ability. The Baronade exotic perk will cover your grenade slot, but the grenade that is being covered is still charging as well as your next barricade. You can get away with holding on to your Baronade while you're waiting for your second one, but if the charge is all the way, it will delete your current Baronade you were holding on to. The trick with this exotic is to hold onto your baronade for as long as you need to, then make sure to throw it before the next one charges. That way you can have two barricades up at once. Barricades act just the same as they would normally, meaning you have a makeshift blinding grenade on all subclasses, which is really helpful for stopping certain enemies. For the full breakdown of mods, I have two siphon mods, one for void, one for kinetic, just to match my weaponry. I'm using two bolstering detonation and a single focusing strike so my powered melee and grenade gives me back class ability energy. Two lucid blades so I can uh, get myself more energy for my glaive, uh, charged up and a stacks on stack so I, when I pick up two orbs I am at times four armor charge. A single insulation to decrease the cooldown of my class ability even further. The void holster mod so that my glaive reloads over time. My two utility kickstarts, so that I can get my Baronade back as fast as possible, and a single Reaper mod to make sure that I can get an orb of power after every time I activate the ability. For a subclass, we're going to be using two great ranged options. We're going to use Shield Throw to proc Focusing Strike. We're also going to be using Scatter Grenade because it has a short cooldown to activate Bolstering Detonation. We're, com we're pairing these with Offensive Bulwark. Grenades recharge faster while you have an overshield and melee range and damage is extended. So, it, a melee final blows will also extend the duration of your overshield, meaning using your glaive is just gonna be more beneficial the more you use it. Bastion is going to be our Baronade, which we're going to throw both of our allies and ourselves, giving ourselves and allies overshield whenever we need to. Our fragments pair together really well. We're going to be using Echo of Leeching and Exchange, Leeching to give us health regeneration on final blows from melees, as well as Exchange for melee final blows giving us grenades. We're going to be using Instability, so as we get grenade kills, we'll get volatile rounds for our weaponry. And then lastly, we'll be using Echo of Reprisal to give ourselves bonus super energy when we're surrounded. We're going to be pairing with Ward of Dawn, which is the fastest charging super in the game, and we're going to use that as an extra layer of defense whenever we need to. This build's playstyle is very defensive and support focused. Do your best to apply cover for your teammates and give them overshields whenever you can. Focus on where they are and just try to form a beachhead wherever you want to attack. They should follow you if they see a lot of stuff going on. Do your best to shut down snipers before they pelt your team. Major targets like boomer knights or teleporting captains, you can shut them down by just blinding them with a barricade. 
I do enjoy that this is the first ever Wi-Fi Titan defense system. <laughs> the closest we got to this was throwing glacial nades, and they only acted as flimsy defense, as most players would blow up the crystals to damage targets instead. This time around, you have a much better, more focused way to protect those around you. And that's where I'm going to be wrapping things up today. I'm hoping to start showing off some builds in the future, as I'm kind of disappeared for a while. My priority is using exotics that deserve more attention for the benefits they have, and expanding the minds of players and introducing newer ways to play. If someone tells you that whatever you're using is bad and they refuse to tell you why, find its purpose. Prove them wrong. Every exotic is good. Don't let tunnel vision affect your creativity. I'll see you next time.